All right, it is no secret the markets look tough. They look rough, they look beat up, they look bad, really bad, am I right? We've went over this several times before on the Crypto Boys channel, but I just wanna come on here and have an honest conversation one-on-one -on -one with you guys and tell you what we're doing at the Crypto Boys, what we've always thought about, where we're going and what we're doing with our money. And we wanna give you our honest opinion and overview of this market and what's gonna happen. So stay tuned guys, I really do think you're gonna get a lot out of this video. All right, first thing I wanna go over is yes, the market looks like crap, right? It looks terrible, it's doomsday. It, it is as bad as it's probably gonna get fear and greed indexed throughout the, through, through the absolute roof. Um, the, there is not much that's going on that's good for the market. Let me tell you this, as long as I've been in this market, I've went through two downturns like this before, this being actually not even close to the worst one. The worst one was the uh, one that went from April to July, roughly. This one could out outperform it um, as far as being bad goes, and I think it will. But we are nowhere near bearish territory, in my opinion, as far as the long term goes. Here's why. First off, and most importantly, what I want you to ask yourself is, why'd you get into the market? Why did you get in the market? Before I even answer anything else, why'd you get in the market? Did you get in the market to sell off and be scared every time the market drops? You know crypto can be volatile. You know stocks can be volatile. You know anything in this type of market where we're in right now, especially with going with everything that's going on in the world, can be very volatile. So why'd you get in it? What were you planning to do with your money? Were you planning to buy in, watch your money go up a little bit, crash 30, 40% and then sell? Was that your what was that your overall goal? No. Or was you, are you buying good quality crypto, good quality stocks that you know over time will go up? Whatever the time frame may be, could be two years, could be five years, could be two months, could be one month, whatever it may be. You have got to ask yourself what you honestly got in the market for. Without answering that question, you will not be able to have success in the market. You especially will not be able to have success in crypto, which we are obviously talking about. So if you can't answer that question, then right now you should probably cut your losses and get out because I think there's more blood to come. A couple things that are causing this massive sell-off. You've obviously got traders being absolutely smashed, leveraged traders being, ooh, bye bye right? Am I right? So we have a lot of things that are looking down for the market, and that is also triggering some more sell-offs. On top of that, Jerome Powell speaking, are rates going to go up? Are they not going to go up? When are they going to go up? How high are they going to go up? Everybody guessing which way or the other. So markets are going to go ahead and obviously take a hit on that. Next week, we'll learn more on that. But you have got to realize that the whales and the people controlling the market are still, they still know exactly where they're at and where they're going to go with it. They are not scared. They are not, they are not worried whatsoever. I mean, even Michael Saylor was like, I don't care. I got 5 billion in the market. I don't care. I know where it's going to go long term. Okay. So I got to go through six months of a downturn, whatever. We've already been in a bunch of months of one. When is it going to go back up? I am going to go over just slightly looking at the charts here and tell you where I think it's going to go and how far I think it's going to go down. And then when I think it's going to go back up, but you've got to remember, just, just think logically here. Think logically with why you got in the market, when you got in the market and if you got in to sell at a loss 20% down and then in a year from now be mad that you, that you didn't keep your money in. Why did you get in? That's a question that I need you to answer, okay? It's funny because I read a couple articles today that even the stock market and the crypto market or the Bitcoin market for that matter is more bearish right now than it was in March 2020. Think of that. Think of that. There are more bears out there right now than in March 2020 of like the ultimate crash. And really, the crash has been bad, but it's been that slower, progressive, not huge one sided crash that you're going to see over time in the bear market. You're going to see steeper peaks. You're going to see steeper slopes. You're going to see bigger chunks taken out in days in a bear market. And I just don't think we're there. The data is not showing us we're there. The market in the, the mass adoption, the good news that's coming out, that's not rising above the FUD right now, but it will eventually is going to happen. And you want to be on the right side of that selling your crypto right now or waiting to get out. That's totally up to you. I can tell you right now that I think that's a total terrible idea and a bad decision overall because the markets are going to turn in our favor. It just depends when, and you've got to be willing to wait it out. If you're not, crypto is probably not for you. I'm going to be the first one to tell you that, that if you can't go through some of these downturns, 
then why not go into something a little bit more secure, a little bit more investment friendly for you where you don't have to check your phone every day and worry if your money is going to go away or not. That's not the, this is not the market for you, even though I think you can make a whole lot of money. I don't think there's anything to be worried about, but it is something to think about going forward. Is it worth it for you to worry about every little downturn in the market when you know how volatile crypto can be? I also hate to say this, but I do want to go over it. The more fear, the more FUD, the more doomsday experiences, the better the better it is for us who actually believe in the market. And most people of our channel and our channel has been growing significantly over the last month or so that we've only been doing crypto is that it presents us with more buying power, more buying opportunities than any other chance you're ever going to get right now. When people are running for the door, when they're like, I'm out of here, it's over Colin, we're dead, Bob. That is when we're running to the fire. That is when we're jumping in with our with our gear on, you know, we're getting our firefighter stuff on and we're going to work. But if if you plan on running the opposite way, then again, you are going to lose a bunch of money, but that's not us. That's not what we're doing. Right now we're looking for buys. I already put out a little something on YouTube Joe and I are looking at two projects, MTV specifically. As soon as that drops below 0 0.0065, we're putting a big buy, putting a pretty big bag in. The next thing we're looking to, we're adding to our most confident positions. I cannot tell you how important that is. Your confident positions, your positions that you believe in 150%, the ones that you think all day, all night are the best thing since sliced bread, which was created in Downport, Iowa, by the way, where we're at, but neither here nor there. That is what you add to, right? Maybe pick one or two risky ones because it's super low. It's a great buying opportunity. MTV for us is that riskier play. And then we start ch chipping away at our more, you know, stable ones, the ones we love. Harmony One, great time to put some more money into that. ADA, great time to put some more money in that. How about VeChain? VeChain is getting wrecked. I'm down like... I'm down like 35% in V chain. I don't even, th I mean, I just laugh at it because I know what I bought it at. I'm happy where I got it and I know where it can go. I don't care if it's down, whatever. It'll come back up and it'll get the price I want. But again, two strategies you should be going through. Number one, pick a little bit of a riskier play that's super far down. I suggest over 20 to 25%. If it's over that percentage mark, boom, that's, that's a great buying opportunity in our mind. Number two is start adding to your positions that you believe long-term. It's the positions that you put in that you know for 100% fact they're going to go up year after year after year after year after year. If that's Bitcoin and Ethereum, great. I absolutely love it. I, I suggest it. Put your money in there, okay? Again, those are the two rules we're going by and we're living by here at the Crypto Boys. Doesn't mean you have to. This is not financial advice. It's the advice we're giving you. Next up, I want to get into the charts. Just a little bit here. Super simple. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Everybody's got all these lines all over the place and I can hardly stay, understand any of them. How are you guys going to understand them? I'm trying to get you quick, concise information. So here we go. Let's jump into it. Okay, I've got my trading view pulled up here. A couple things I want to go over is this 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 trading view, the the line right here. The first thing I want to go over and let you guys know of that I think is important is that this line is the bottom of the last um, super you know big pullback or dip we had, which was back in uh, is this July. What is this? So this is yeah. So this is our last big pullback back in July. So July twenty first. And it got all the way down to about, tw I think it wicked down to 28,000, but we'll say 29,000 under 30,000, right? This line, this area here is what I'm looking at. This is the most important area right here. This, this area right in here is the most important area for the crypto space. This space right here by far. It's, it's like, you know, um, people are getting into, because I remember BitBoy, he was saying, if it goes under 40,000, we're selling. If, is he still selling? I don't even know, but you know, everybody flip flops a lot and I understand changing your opinion, changing your view with the market, but he said, we're selling, right? So is he selling? Is he not? We're not. Here's why. I think that this 28,000 mark is going to be kind of like a bounce for us. And once it hits that, I, th I, th I still am telling you, I think this is this candle is probably still at some point in time going to go below 30,000 or touch 30,000. And once it hits, it's going to hit. Once it hits, it's going to be off to the races, just like it was back to our all time high. Here's what I want to go over real fast. You guys just bear with me here for a second. Is that do you think so let's go back to where we at here. Let's go back to where we hit 64,000 64,926 back on April 14th, right? So we hit 64,000 back on April 14th right here. All right, 64K. 
Then we had a little sell-off, a little ramp back up to 60,000, and then the big sell-off down to our 28,000, right? No big deal. That's what we had. Pretty bearish feel down here, too. You guys know that pretty bearish feel. And then we had, oh, from that 28,000, a rip all the way up to 68,000. Now it's time we have a serious conversation. You're telling me that out of all the market, out of everything we've done, out of all the crypto, out of everything we've went through the last two years, that you think ripping up to 64,000, ripping down to 28,000, and then ripping back up to 68,000 to only go less than $4,000 higher per Bitcoin was the top of the market. That's what you're saying. That's what you truly believe after all this work and everything that crypto's done and all the mass adoption, all the great news that has come out. There's been the last month has been the best news wise for crypto there's ever been in the history of crypto ever. It has been so good news wise. Everything is bullish, right? Not everything, but a lot of things are bullish, especially the big time market movers are bullish and we're still dropping. That should tell you whales are jumping in. Uh, mass adoptions happening as in, as far as bigger companies are getting in and they're getting the price they want. There's obviously some Fed out there. There's some things about Bitcoin mining, so on and so forth. I don't care about it. I don't want you to really care about that. I want you to control the stuff you can control and that's making good decisions with your money. Stop wasting your time and wasting your money and worrying about it. Grab a beer, put your feet up, chill out, realize you're going to make a bunch of money. But if you think that this right here, this $68,000, this $68,000 right here was the top, the, the best Best part of the market with no altcoin season, no real big driver, no force up. If you truly believe that that was the best of the best, then you should have sold then. You should have sold any time between, let me clear this up, but you should have sold any time between here and here. And the fact you didn't sell between there tells me something. It tells me you're in it. It tells me you're with us. It tells me you do believe. And now I understand that it's going down. It doesn't look great. We're already at the 36,000 mark, but I seriously think we're going to go probably below 30,000. We might even go below this 28,000 that we had last time. That is fine. You have got to believe what you bought, believe in your investment. And I believe it's going to be a massive rip to the upside. I don't know if we're hitting 100K, but I can tell you this. I almost guarantee it. You're going to hear it right here. We're going to hit more than $68,000. And it's going to be in this bull. It's going to be in this bull run. Everything we point to is to the bulls. To the bulls winning. And again, the more fear, the more the more scared people are. The more people running for the doors. That's better for me and you because we're scooping up right now. We are making gains like we're never going to make before in this late of a bull market. And another thing that's making me mad is I keep hearing this four year thing. Four years this. Four years that. And, and, and even big time YouTubers and we, we're 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 just as guilty of it. I mean, we'll we'll put some you know heat on ourselves too. But the four year thing that's out the window. Throw it, you know, put it in a little ball, throw it in the trash. All right. Everything that's happening in the world with um you know obviously what's happened last two years. I don't even want to say it. You've got other people with the mass adoption. You've got the Fed taking over a lot of things. So all of this artificial you know, market tampering that's has, that's happened over the last few years, the four-year thing's out the window, especially for this run. So you're looking at, you have no idea how long it's going to be. It could be five years, could be six years, but selling now at this far of a downturn is the dumbest thing you could do. If that's truly what you want to do, Again, the market's not for you, but if you see the future of this market and you see the future of crypto and where it's going to go, this market is for you. You should be sitting back. You should be kicking your feet up and relaxing and smiling because you know where you've been and where this is going to go. So once we get this bounce and we will, we will, th this, this is going to happen. We're going to run back up to the upside. It's going to be, where's it going to be? I don't know, but you're going to see a swift nice move back up and i'm telling you it's going to be faster than you think okay okay to start wrapping up this video because it got a little bit longer than i wanted it to get but i still want you guys to know that you know all the ta in the world all the fud in the world every single great article every single bad article no matter what no matter what it cannot cannot make all your decisions you got into this market for a reason you put your hard-earned money the money you worked for the money you slave for the money you've worked all those hours for for a reason 
and you did not think when you bought it, I'm hoping that you were just going to go straight to the moon in 30 days and be rich and dancing around on some beach somewhere. It doesn't happen like this. This this type of market, this type of downturn, this type of FUD right now that's happening is what makes millionaires. This is what's going to make you a millionaire or it's going to keep you in the same damn position you've been in over the last however many years of your damn life because as soon as the going gets tough, you run away. You're gone, right? Not us, not the crypto boys. We're here with you. And if we are in a bear market, bring it on. The projects we've bought, the projects we're suggesting, I can tell you right now, will make you tons of money overall. You don't have to have millions of dollars to invest, but you do have to have some little bit of cojones. Not to my female girls, you know what I'm saying? But you got to have a little bit. You just got to have a little bit of power, a little bit of backbone to realize, hey, listen, we're fine. We're fine, people. We need to calm down. We need to zoom out and realize we've been here before. We're going to be here again. We may even go lower than we've been before, but we will go back up. One thing, I'm going to leave you with this right now. One thing crypto has always done. One thing you do when you get into good projects, the one thing that always happens, it goes up. That's what crypto does. It goes up. All right, that's all I got today. I really do hope you guys have a great day. We just had a baby 48 hours ago, but I had to get on here, let you guys know that this is what I'm thinking. I've just been staring at basically my cell phone screen in between feeding and changing diapers. Actually, I don't change that many diapers, but you know, um, I've had more thoughts built up and just more talk built up than I've ever had in like the last 48 hours of being in a hospital room that long. But you know, we do as always really appreciate you guys being with the fittest crypto channel on YouTube and we are here for you guys. Let's do it. Thank you.